Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Um, it's almost February, and this is going to, i got to warn you guys, this is going to be quite a long video. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple of things. First thing on the list is uh, K-Day. If you guys don't know what K-Day is, it's um, Kmart. Uh, Hot Wheels has exclusive cars and first markets that go to Kmart on a certain day, and they have all kinds of event, uh, all kinds of little fun things. There's three ways they do it. Um, I myself am not quite familiar, being that I've never been to a K-Day, but um, I'm going to try to get to the one, uh, the first one of 2014, which is going to be on February 14th. Again, that's February 14th at Kmart. Um, the way I found out about it was through Race Grooves. I'm going to put a link to his, uh, to his video explaining about the upcoming K-Day and He's got links on it to his website and on his website about, you know, Kmart, what participate. But watch his video if you want to know more about it. Um, another thing, um, I watched a video on the Pop Culture Hot Wheels, the new ones that are coming out. The one from, um, uh, what's that cartoon series? Looney Tunes. And I really, really did like the customized... C3500 truck. I'll show you a picture in this video. And um, I really wanted to do a wheel swap with it. I have another car in mind. I don't have the car quite yet, but I'll get it sooner or later. But I want to buy up a couple of those uh, C3500s with Speedy Gonzales on them. Which brings me to say, um, which brings me to my next topic Dayton Wheels. Now, I'll show you a picture of a Dayton wheel, and this is another thing I've been dying to do. Um, you've seen it in one of my videos. I think it was you, Derek Morey, who commented about, you know, Great Impala. Kind of hard to see, but if you can read past Lowrider, that's what a Dayton wheel looks like. Unfortunately, on this model, they don't have uh, Dayton wheels. Um, I watched on Pimp My Ride how to install Dayton, um, you know, a little bit about Dayton wheels. Basically, if you got to change a tire on a Dayton wheel, you're you're pretty much uh, you know, got a long way to go. You made yourself a couple of challenges, but um, I'm gonna crack this also. But I want to show you Hot Wheels wasn't the first one to put, in my recent recollection, Hot Wheels wasn't the first one to put uh, Dayton wheels on cars to make little toy Dayton wheels. Um, I guess these came out about 2005. I was really young at the time and. I was still playing hard with my cars, um, and I'm also going to do a comparison. Uh, yeah, I guess I shouldn't scratch myself with it, but um, <laughs> uh, well, here it is. This is a Homies roller. It's 164 scale. It was made by Jada Toy Company. Um, it had a lot more detail. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the front had a huge front bumper and had its own headlights. I, you know, in my juvenile stage took the headlights off, had mirrors, and took those off. Um, one thing that managed to survive with me was part of the rear has its own custom California license plate. It had a wheel, like a Continental tire kit here. They say this is a 59, but I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, that's what a Dayton wheel looks like with the etched out wheel cap. And it's got white walls, but going back to, I'm not quite sure if it's a 59. See, one of the things that I was always judging my Impalas off of was the rear lights and the rear tail. Um, this is the 59 by Jada, the homie's uh, roller. There's another one I have here that I brought out from my uh, collection. This was in one of my um, jammers, so... Again, another played with car. I guess this is from the early 2000s. Because I put my cars away. You know, I stopped playing with Hot Wheels for a little bit. And then, you know, now that watching a lot of you other diecast collectors and seeing some train layouts, I got back into the hobby. So, here's a 59 Impala from the Hot Wheels from Mattel. Um, it's nice. It's black, but... They have the split with the three tail lights. 
So I don't quite know which one's real, um, which one's more authentic and more realistic. Um, please feel free to shoot me a comment about that. And now it's time for this guy. So I'm gonna crack this on camera for you. I'm getting real. I'm getting better at cracking. Maybe I don't need that knife quite yet. But oh yeah, that came out beautiful. Card still very little damage to the card. Um, it's folded. It's been hanging around my local hobby shop for a little bit. Um, I have a video explaining that. You'll find it on my channel. But look at that. This is a 62 Impala. Well, let me actually read the card. 61, 61, okay. So, I was confused about that, but um, another cool thing they say about this. Classic, uh, classic lowrider, right? You're probably like, okay, it looks cool. I'm trying to get it to do three-wheel motion, but I don't think it has that. And then also, picture of Dayton's, but the car itself does not have Dayton's. Oh, I see what's up here. I don't think the rear adjust. The rear's kind of hard to adjust here. Yeah, the rear suspension's a little hard to adjust, a little stiff. Um, I don't know what that's about. And another thing. Hard to see, but opening trunk. And fully opening and stays open. That's cool. Um, so I'm going to put it in a low rider position. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're a little stiff, but there's it riding high. There's it low riding. Or hot rod style, as I like to call it. There's it goofy style. Riding high in the front. I gotta figure out perfect way to angle my camera. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, that's perfect. Okay, so there's Goofy style. There's it straight low riding. There's hot rod style. And then there's riding high. And the trunk opens and well, it was stay. Yeah, it partially partially stays open, but. It did stay open when it was all the way down, so I don't know what that's about, but and that's a 61 with all three rear all three uh, rear lights. Um, it has some custom graphics on it. Hard to see, but yeah, custom graphics. The hoods where they really went all out with their uh, tampos and stuff. So, so that's cool. But you know, I feel a little lied to in their advertisement and their packaging. No Dayton wheels. What's that about? But, eh, whatever. I like how it low rides. I like how it's adjustable. Um, yeah, not quite a roller when it's low. That's better. Let's see when it's high, if it rolls better. When it's high in the rear. Yeah, it's a bit, it's weird. Low rider kinda, when it's going low, kinda scrapes. But if you ride like one side higher, not so much. Ah, oh, self adjusting too. Yeah, like here it rides a little bit better. So, that's cool. Um, another thing I want to compare. Um, I saw Poochman, you commented on my uh, VW Custom. Um, I like your input. It's, yeah, it, was, it came out pretty bad, but I'm thinking of, you know, going at it again. Um, I saw you were making a dually truck for a customer. I don't know if you were making a dually Chevy. I think you were making a dually Chevy, so this might not help you, but I also want to do a couple of comparisons. Um, here's a Ford F-350 by Matchbox. Uh, that has an opening tailgate and an opening hood, real rubber tires, what's left of them. Um, it's a dually. Um, it had mirrors, well it has the driver side mirror, it had passenger side mirror at one time. Um, this is one when I was younger, 
I gotta tell you, this is a bit of a funny story. I never thought of it, but when I was younger and I first got my um, HO scale train, I did get a crossing gate with that, and, you know, Hot Wheels were fun to play with, and my brother showed me, oh, this is, this is just hilarious, my brother showed me, what if we uh, just roll one of these Hot Wheels on the track and let the train go by? So I, I had the train going at 45 miles an hour, it's almost at the uh, railroad crossing, I'm looking over, seeing my train go by, and my brother rolls a Hot Wheel car on there, you know, one of their metal bodies, metal uh, base. So the train rolls by and just hits the car and the car goes rolling a little bit and then car slides off the track. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. I put this on there. Well, <laughs> kind of hard to tell, but it's got a little bit of frame damage. It doesn't quite sit straight. It kind of leans on one side. So, eh, that's that. I used to um, put some of my bigger scale homies in the back here. But that's a F-350 by Matchbox. And that's an early F-350. Um, went to Hershey Park for a school trip. And my mom's like, get yourself something. You can buy something. Well, you know, I, I thought it was quite immature to buy cars at that time. And my mom's like, you can buy a car if you want. So, I bought a Hershey F... I bought a Hershey Ford F-350. Well... It doesn't quite say on the base, it just says Ford F-Series, if you can see that clearly. But, it's when you look at the back tampo, it says Ford F-350. I did take a look at this before I made the video. So, um, that's cool. Now, here are they, here they are compared next to each other. Uh, let's roll them a little bit. So, ah, uh, that's... That's the Ford F-350 by Hot Wheels. Ford F-350 by Matchbox. I'll turn the camera a little bit. i try to get it. So there's that. There's that. Not really a little bit out of scale of each other. So the newer one, the more modern one's a little bit bigger than the 2000s. Um, yeah, I got this like 2000... 10. And then recently, Ertl. I bought two Ertl trucks. One was a Dodge Ram 2500. That was well detailed, well made, honestly. Big plastic Dodge 2500 from 2000, uh, 2012. I'm still trying to find a truck like my dad's uh, 1995 or 4, you know, late 90s Dodge Ram 1500. But um, going back to my story, Ertl Ford F-350, and it's a dually. So I wasn't sure if you were making a dually for your client, Poochef, but um, I know you were making a dually. I wasn't sure if you were making a Ford or a Chevy. Uh, I haven't seen any, like, Chevy Ertl trucks made yet, or sh any Chevy, like, dually uh, Ertl trucks. Honestly, I don't know if they make more modern Chevys. Um, I've seen an 86 uh, GMC Sierra, but that was only in somebody else's video. I forget who it was. But, um, so that's basically it. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to compare the trucks next to each other. So, they're all supposed to be the same model truck, but some are bigger than others. Um, so this is supposed to be the same year. Bet you never seen a low ridden uh, 4x4 dually truck. So, that's the Ertl F350. That's the Hot Wheels F350. And that's the beat up Matchbox F350. <laughs> I played hard with my cars. Um, and then I want to do it again with my uh, Impalas. So. First one I showed you, there's my homie's uh, Rollers Impala, that's supposed to be a 59, there's the Hot Wheels 59, and this is the Revel Lowrider uh, 61 Impala, I'm going to do tail light view, 
if you can tell me which one's more close to the 59 Impala. Because I, I see different pictures, like I search on Google for pictures of a 59 Impala and multiple things come up. You know, the 59 with the split in the front, the 59 with the um, split in the back with the two tail lights or the three tail lights. So, um, I'm just trying to figure it out, honestly. So, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, K-Day, February 15th. I don't know if I'll make it to mine. Um, if you guys make it to yours. Or if you're just, you know, interested in what they have. Um, I'm going to put up a link to Race Groove's website and a link to his video where he explains, you know, this year's K-Day. Because um, let's face it, he gets more subscribers than me. He's he's more known than I am. I'm not jealous or anything. But, you know, he's, he's what inspired me. So I want... You know, whoever hasn't found his channel and clicks on mine, finds my videos of my cars and stuff. I want you to, you know, get interested in Hot Wheels if you find my videos good. Because basically, I'm just, I'm just a teenage, well, I'm almost 20. I'm just a teenager with, you know, a camera and a YouTube channel and a layout who can't drive, just size to collect cars. I don't know what your story is. I'd like to hear it. You know, I love hearing people's stories and about they're collecting and you know I, I just think it's a cool hobby you know even if you can drive them it's just fun to get cars that you wouldn't see out on the streets like around where I'm at I don't really see many Chevrolet lowrider cars or you know I don't I mean I gotta go on the internet to find videos of like lowrider shows and stuff so alright well rate subscribe and like this video if you liked it um, more will be coming on the way I don't know how soon though. Uh, February 10th is coming up real quick on me, so now I got some college. I got college stuff, and you know, so I don't know what the future holds. I might do more videos on the weekends, but hey, who knows? For now, enjoy. Okay, see you guys later.